Hi everybody, it's Bonkai922, here to bring you Beanbow Gami Guy. Yeah, not that many reviews left to do, I just got Fairy Tale, Sword Art Online, and One Piece. So let's get into it, Beanbow Gami Guy, episode 9. This one was weird. <laughs> oh my god. The only thing that, com that, that really makes sense about this episode was both, the episode was like in two parts. Yeah, two parts. Part one was, um, if I'm not mistaken from what I've seen here, what now you say this. And the other part was called, there's no way that could happen in just two minutes. <laughs> wait, now you say this. And then, yeah, wait, now you say this? Uh, uh, very funny title. Um, pretty much what happened was, Beginning the episode, um, it, having tennis, they're playing tennis in the, um, during gym class, and it's going to be co-ed, um, kind of thing, where they're going to play tennis, and they're going to have teams of a boy and a girl. So, Sakura, uh, Ichiko, she, um, gets this guy, Adeno Koji, Adeno Koji, um, he's basically like the Prince of Tennis, <laughs> Or so it seems. He's like the Prince of Tennis. And, uh, he's like the Prince of Tennis. And he, um, you know, he's, uh, yeah, he basically is the Prince of Tennis. He's this guy who is on the tennis team and so on and so forth. And, and, and uh, all the guys want to, want to, and they have this scene with, um, Ramaru. She's like trying to ask Keita out and be a party. Like, oh, I don't want to. Ah! She crawls up the gate or something. It was weird. Oh my god, it was so weird that she did that. And then she leaves. Well, she's still there, but she's freaking out there. And so this guy, who's the Adino Koji, he's going to be on Sakura's team while here comes Momoji and she's got somebody else. This guy, Gora, Gora Hara. And you have to figure this out. Yeah, he looks like a gorilla. <laughs> this huge freaking guy. He's just huge. And they start playing the, the match. And the match, what happens is they make a wager. Oh my god. It was so freaking stupid. The wager was that if Momoji wins, no questions asked, Sakura must give her all her fortune to Momoji. And if Momoji loses, she has to leave. And there's another bet. The other bet is is that if Sakura's team wins, the prince guy, you know, Odino Koji, he has to get rid shave his head, get rid of his hair, cut his hair. And if the other and if Momoji loses her team, Guru Gurahara he has to um, be in a cage with a female gorilla during mating season or something. It was so bizarre. So fun. But the funniest part, oh my god. The funniest part of this episode was when they were they doing the tennis, you know, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And at one point, you know, they're just playing tennis. And it gets really sick because the serves they're, they're throwing out is just ungodly. Uh, like, uh, I think it's, um, the Gorilla ha Gorohara. He, he does this serve to Momoji, and she's, not Momoji, uh, Sakura, and she's pushed back and falls down. She does the same thing to him and hits him in the fucking face. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. Then there's a part where, um, Momoji does this one serve to, uh, that Edino Koji tries to hit. And it's like this floater and hits him on the head. And you know what she says? Gob gob we serve. <laughs> gob gob serve. Oh my god. And she's just like Goofy. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm laughing like this. I shouldn't be laughing about it. But yeah, she's just like Luffy. Gob gob serve. And, and, and uh, Sakura's like, you, you can't do that. She Her, her arm stretched out. <laughs> it was so ridiculous. And then what ends up happening though is... Uh, 
this ends up being a tie in the end. But what happens is um, Sakura brings out that, that wooden sword she uses all the time that gives her power. It has a racket on the end of it. And she brings out this whirlwind shit and everything. They just Basically, they just fight amongst each other during this match. During, in, in, inside this, like, tornado. And it, the end result? It's a tie. <laughs> like, what? What? Oh, my God. I laughed my ass off. Um, I basically was a tie. And, and then Kata, it's so funny. After the whole situation, Kata wakes up. And he's like, oh, my God, where the hell is the freaking court? <laughs> he was freaking out. And then what ends up happening, the, the ramifications of this is, is that these two guys who were tennis stars, they both were afraid, deathly afraid now. They're, they have, they've acquired a phobia of women now <laughs> because of this interaction with Boji and uh, Sakura. Um, the only other thing I have to say about this episode also is this was a two-part episode. So one was called What? Now You Say This? And then the second part was called There's No Way That Could Be, That Could Happen in Just Two Minutes. And... What happens in this part is, and hopefully I can find this girl's name, I don't think I see her name, Koryuri, I believe that's her name, I believe that's her name, Koryuri, yeah, it's right here, Koryuri, she is another god of misfortune, so there's two of them now. And she shows up, she gets um, the, the boss of the, you know, the, what, what land they come from, God of Misfortunes, uh, tells her to head out, you know, and, and evaluate Momoji's progress with, with getting her fortune. And Sakura, she decides that she wants to cook, but unfortunately what happens is she can't cook for shit, so it's like, forget about it. So what ends up happening is um, she um, decides, oh, that endeavor is over because I can't cook for shit. So she decides to order a pizza anyway. And Momoji's there eating a pizza. And then she, they have a tussle, a fight over the pizza. And the pizza falls on Momoji's face. And then Momoji, uh, uh, Sakura just put, kicks her. <laughs> it was just such a ridiculous episode. And then she bumps into Kuriyuri. And... Kuriuri has evil intentions. She wants to, like, get all the glory for herself. So, what ends on happening is, is that, you know, she fibs. Yeah, basically she fibs. Saying that, oh yeah, I'm going to help you, you know, get her, get the fortune away from her. But she's actually trying to get it for herself. And she, she calls her this nickname, and she's like, Oh, stop it! You know, and she's like so pissed off at Momoji. Because, uh, you know, because they, they say they're friends, but they're really just like rivals. So, they end up tag team against Sakura. It doesn't do anything. It does absolutely nothing. Because, still, Bo Momoji's needle, it snaps off into <laughs> Kuriuri's uh, head, and she's bleeding and everything. I'm like, oh my god, this is just... And then, what ends up happening is, they decide to have a cook-off. So, same thing, basically, you know, the beginning of the episode was tennis, now it's a cook-off. The end result, though, is, is that Momoji cooks something that is nothing like meat and potatoes, because that's the dish they were supposed to make. And, uh, Sakura makes something, but it's black. It's not even food. It's black, and there's sounds coming from it. Oh my god, something from a horror movie. And you know what happens? Kuryu eats it a little bit. And she says, fuck! And she was having, she's convulsing. She needs back. It's so weird, that, that scene, because all you see is Momoji and Sakura looking on. They're like this. Just standing there for like what? It had to be at least a minute or two standing there, and then she disappears. <laughs> and what happened was supposedly what Momoji said is that's that um Kuriyuri she 
puked out her guts or something. It was very weird. And then she comes back. She's like, ah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And she's crying, saying, oh, she can handle Sakura. She's not. I don't, she doesn't need any help. And more or less, that's what happened in this episode. Just a lot of more zany shit going down. Um, it was just so ridiculous. It was so ridiculous and so goddamn funny. Um, definitely, definitely four out of five. This was definitely an awesome episode again. Just total, to, too much zaniness. Too much freaking zaniness in this episode. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys for this one. Um, Kuriuri was weird. She she was trying to be all big and bad, saying that you know. Oh, um, I'm gonna steal all the glory, and then the end result is she can't do shit. So yeah, <laughs> um, but yeah, this was good. I enjoyed this one. It was very funny. These episodes are just so fucking funny. Oh god, thing with Luffy. Oh my god, a parody for One Piece. That was awesome. I was like, what the hell is this shit? <laughs> oh man, I was losing up, losing my mind there for a little bit. Um. That's all I got for you guys. Um, the other things will come later, I guess. It's really nothing. It's just fairy tale, One Piece, and uh, Sword Art Online. So just those three. The other thing I didn't do yet, which I will be doing soon, not to get off topic here, coming soon, is... Um, what was it? Ah, so I can't play H. I got to do episode 8 review. And I want to mention this, not to get off too time on topic, just to let everyone know, future videos coming. Next Tuesday's my birthday. So I'm going to do something special on that day. I'm going to do Q&A slash suggestion. Basically, you guys suggest me anime. I've said I'm I, I usually say I'm the one who suggests you anime. Now you're going to go and tell me of animes and mangas I should watch, I should view, read, watch, you know, all that other stuff. Okay, that's all I got for you guys. This has been Bonkai 922. Being Mogami Guy episode 9. Just so much zaniness. There's no way you could make that in two minutes. Ha 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 ha, I have it in two minutes. See you guys later.